Hi there, I'm Kijan Haynes, and this is the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report for Friday, July 2nd, 2021. The MPE Caribbean Report provides updates from around the region. Royal Caribbean has marked the first cruise to set sail from a U.S. port following the industry suspension of service due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The company commemorated the important milestone on its journey to resume operations with its state-of-the-art luxury ship Celebrity Edge, which recently set sail to Mexico and the Bahamas. Royal Caribbean Group's health and safety standards are the culmination of more than a year of work done to prioritize the health and safety of guests, crew, and the communities it visits. The U.S. Virgin Islands is reporting a successful outcome to the Roots Americas Air Service Development Meeting, which took place last week in Orlando. Joseph Bashalta, the USVI Tourism's Commissioner, offered an update at the end of the conference, which was critical in stimulating the recovery of the airline industry. The Commissioner expressed pleasure with the abundance of service coming into the territory and expressed optimism about the future. We've had the opportunity to speak to several of our airline partners, uh, as well as prospective airlines to come to the territory, uh, both St. Croix and St. Thomas. I'm pleased to report back that our conversations are very well received. Uh, I think we are moving in the right direction. Uh, conversations are, uh, for us as a destination, immediate follow-up to, to, to continue to push to close some of these uh, potential flights coming in. We feel very good about the prospects for new lift into the territory, both from existing carriers and potentially some new carriers uh, and are based upon our conversations here uh, at Routes. For us in the USVI, we expect to see the US traveler continue to lead the way in travel uh, as we move into the post-vaccination period. Former West Indies cricket captain Darren Sammy of St. Lucia is the newest member of the Cricket West Indies Board of Directors. With more than 14 years of international cricket experience, Sami is celebrated by many in the region and across the world as a charismatic and inspirational figure, renowned for leading the West Indies to back-to-back -to -back ICC T20 World Cup titles in 2012 and 2016. We caught up with Sami this week. I've always aimed to give back, you know, whether it be here in St. Lucia or to cricket on, on the whole, you know, being a leader, uh, in, in most teams that I've played, I've always tried to pass on the knowledge in that way. Um, so to, to be appointed a, an independent director on the West Indies Field Board where I, have, where I can have an impact on the further development of, of West Indies cricket, the, the, the game, you know, um, you know and, and help pave a way forward that will further develop our game and, and, and make it become you know, that, that first love of, 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 of the Caribbean people that it was when I was growing up. We have to understand what is going to ensure our sustainable success. And we, we focus on that. So I'm, 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 I'm ready for the challenge. <laughs> Sammy is one of three appointments of the independent directors approved at the recent CWI Board of Directors meeting to serve for the next two years. He joins Trinidadian attorney Mrs. Deborah Koyat Patton and Jamaican surgeon and university administrator Ms. Akshay Mansingh, who were both recently reappointed to serve a second term. And that's our update for the week. Remember, things change, and the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit caribbeanhotelandtourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. We wish you an enjoyable weekend and please wash your hands, maintain physical distancing, wear a mask and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.